Hey, what's up movie fans? I'm back with my latest movie review. This is actually day two of maybe three days in a row at three different theaters. Yesterday I saw The Green Inferno, today I see Everest. So I hope you guys check this out. Yeah, that's right, I'm spoiling it right off the bat. You need to see Everest on the big screen. This is a movie that is made to be enjoyed, watched on the big screen. Now, I personally love watching documentaries on nature, different points from all across the world, and this is absolutely one of the most impressive, monumental places on Earth. Everest is a film that's based on a true story that happened in 1996 of an adventure-seeking group going all the way up to the tippy top of Everest. Can they do it? Will they fail along the way? Unfortunately, most of these occasions, more people pass away. They don't. They stay up there, then come back down. Um, this is just an incredible movie. Jake Gyllenhaal, Josh Brolin are incredible secondary characters. In this movie, Jason Clark is the star of this film. He is a person who puts other people ahead of himself. He leads this trek. He's got a business going. There's rival businesses. Jake Jones Hall is on the other, another one. And they help bring people up, adventure seekers. For the low price of $65,000, you can make it to the top, in theory, if you're able to. Now, they have peril, like ice storms, um, you know, and just bitter cold. Your body, you know, works against you up here. Your lung capacity, you know, just fatigue. All these different factors factor in. And it's just, it's incredibly impressive. The vistas that they have, you know, you see these, you see some carnage in here. You see frostbite. You see horrible things that can possibly happen to people when they make this adventure. But you also get to see these incredible viewpoints that you can't see anywhere else in the entire world. And it's it's beautiful how they can, how they can shoot it. It's, it's wonderful. They're... I'm, I'm awestruck. I'm at a loss for words. Uh, Jason Clark stars in this film, and he is just phenomenal in this film. You you really grow to identify him and, with him, and you root for him the entire way. Um, you know, he's been in some other movies, and i got to say this is the first time I, I can remember seeing him use his regular accent. And i got to say that this is the trick, because, you know, he's, he's good in Rise of the Planet of the Apes. He's good. Is it Rise or, yeah... Yeah, you Don. No, it's Rise. I'm just kidding. He's good in Rise, but, you know, he's not using his accent. In this film, he's using his accent, and it just seems way more genuine and personable, and I, I gotta say, I dug it. Um, this movie is, is really good. Keira Knightley is really, really good in an impassioned role as Jason Clark's wife, and it just it meshes really well. I can't say anything bad about this movie. Um, you know, it... It, it's just, it draws on my heartstrings. There's a little bit of horror. You know, you're you're worried about these people. The suspense is awesome. Um, it's, they don't do things with shock value or anything like that. It's just, you know, a heart-wrenching and sometimes heartwarming story. Um, you know, that it really, really went well for me. I enjoyed the film. I, could, I was kind of gauging the reaction of my crowd. We had a pretty good sized house, and you know everyone seemed to be in the film, uh, into the film I should say. So I want to know if you guys like this movie. If you didn't like it, what's up with that? But check it out. Uh, my other review I did for yesterday was for the Green Inferno, which is pretty much the opposite of this review. So I hope you guys check out that review. But don't see the movie. And no, I'm just kidding. Uh, if you guys have any recommendations for other movies you want me to check out, please feel more than welcome to leave a comment. If you hated this movie, if you loved it, leave a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is at London Hawthorne. Just click my username, hit that subscribe button, check out my hundreds and hundreds of other movie reviews. I've I've seen over 5,000 movies easily, so I hope you guys check out my reviews and let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.